Hey guys, this is Lewis, the IT guy. Today we're going to be learning how to install the Azure AC PowerShell module, and then we're going to connect to Azure through PowerShell. Let's go ahead. The first thing that we have to do is make sure that we have our PowerShell up to date. So for this, we're going to run this command, ps version table dot ps version. And we make sure that we have, you know, our PowerShell up to date at least. But a quick note, um, the recommended version for PowerShell uh, to use with the Azure AD module is PowerShell 7.0.6 LTS or PowerShell 7.1.3 or higher. But for this video, we're going to do it with, with the version that we have right now. So um, the other thing that we have to do is make sure that our PowerShell can run scripts. So we're going to go ahead and set our execution policy. So we're going to set our execution policy uh, for, to remote signed uh, for, for this video and our scope. Let's set it for current user as it's recommended. So once we do that, we're going to get here a little agreement if we want to, to change the execution policy from the default one. So we click on, we type uh, yes and it go and uh, it goes ahead and changes our execution policy. And now um, let's go ahead and install our AZ module. So let's go ahead and use our install module. <clears throat> Sorry, let's go ahead and use our install module command and the name of the module that we're after for is AZ and uh, by Microsoft recommendation, let's do it with uh, the scope for the current user and it's going to come from the repository of the PowerShell gallery. So PS gallery and let's give it a little push by using the force. Oh. Okay, sorry, I wrote gallery. It's gallery. Here we go. So this takes some time, you know, to install, uh, downloading everything from the repository, uh, downloading and installing. So I'm going to pause the video and once it's ready, we're going to come back. Okay, so now we can see that it has begun installing, installing the package, also the dependent packages and downloading everything. So let's see how it goes. Okay, so apparently it's already finishing the installation. Uh, one place where you can go to see if uh, all your, if the module is installing correctly, you go here on your administrator's documents and you go to Windows PowerShell and then the modules folder. And here you can see all the, all the packages that it installs. Uh, for example, the az.accounts, uh, you can see here everything, the languages, uh, the post import scripts, startup scripts and everything. And when you go here on AZ accounts, uh, you can find, for example, a lot of information, a lot of, uh, commands, for example, that you can use, uh, for that. So take some time when, when you install everything on your own and uh, browse to this so you can learn more, okay? Like for example, as I was saying here in the AZ uh, accounts, AZ.accounts folder, you can find this document, this notepad document. And here you can find some commandlets that you can use within the module. And uh, let's see, here we see that for example, you can get, uh, once you're connected to your Azure environment, you can get uh, your AC subscription. You can uh, get, uh, for example, add an AC environment, for example. And the most important one that we need for this video, connect to your AZ account, Azure account. So let's go ahead and connect to our Azure account. Okay, so now that we're here, uh, everything ready, installed, Let's connect. Let's see if, if we can connect, connect AZ account. So now that the module is installed, you can autofill by uh, pressing tab and it will autofill for you. So connect AZ account. And when we do that, uh, we hit enter. We should see uh, a pop up with the uh, login screen. 
So here we have it. You see here Microsoft Azure and it says sign in. So you go ahead and uh, put your email uh, that you have uh, subscribed for Azure. Okay. You put your password. Okay. Let's see. I think I typed it wrong. Yes, I did. Okay, so once you connect, um, it will give you, for example, a message like this. Sometimes, let's see what it said here. Share, talk, share token cache credential authentication. Uh -huh. It says here, PowerShell is configured for use by Azure Active Directory users only. Please do not use the consumer's endpoint to serve this request. What happened here? Let's see. Okay, so it says here, warning, unable to acquire token for tenant. Okay, this is very important. I forgot this part. Uh, let's go ahead and it's, it, it, the thing is that it helps you so much and it gives you uh, advice. So it tells you here, please rerun, connect AZ account with additional parameter your tenant ID. So I was missing my tenant ID. As you can see here, for example, thing that I saw here, once you, but this is once you're in, you can get your AZ tenant, for example. So we're going to see that in a few. So let's copy this, right? Let's copy this and connect directly to our tenant. So we do this. And now it should we shouldn't have an error. So it's logging in to my account. So I have like a multi-factor authentication of some sort. So let me get the code uh, for this and so we can continue. Okay, so I have it with a verification uh, that it sends the code to my email. Another email, I get the code and then I put it in. Is a little bit of extra security. You can do this with MFA, uh, single sign-on, etc. But we can learn that later on. And here it goes. I'm logged in to my account, uh, my Azure subscription as well. I have here my tenant ID. This is just uh, a testing um, Azure that I have. So, you know, don't go and and try crazy things, you know, with my account. So, let's see. Is it true that I'm in my Azure account? Let's see what we have what we have here. For example, let's use the get az tenant. So it tells me here the az tenants that I have. What else? What else? What else? What else? Let's see. Get az vm. Does that work? I don't think I have any VMs on that environment. Let's see. Let's see. Get AZ resource group. Let's see. It's taking some time. Okay. So you see, we're already on our Azure environment and it tells me the resource groups that I have in there, the location, uh, the provisioning stage, uh, if we had any tags, but it doesn't. So it's empty and the resource ID, for example. Okay, guys, so we already saw uh, how to install the Azure AZ PowerShell module and how to connect to Azure through PowerShell. We also saw some extra things like, for example, where to find your module. There's also, um, you can also get to see get installed module. And uh, it also uh, provides you with a list with all the, the packages that you have, uh, all the modules. So for example, here we have all our AZ modules here. Um, so yeah, um, hope you like this video. Uh, and uh, if you have any questions, just leave them below and I'll try to answer as soon as I can. Please share, comment, like, uh, hit the subscribe button, the notification bell, and anything that you can do to help us, you know, get this video out to anyone that needs it. And uh, this is all for today and see you next time.